distinguished leaders and fellow citizens of the world. As we gather for the second Summit for Democracy, we are reminded of the urgency of our shared mission to build a more just, fair and sustainable world for all. In this spirit, I'm proud to share with you the progress made on the national commitments of the Republic of Moldova in this year of action, as we reinforce our efforts to defend and consolidate our democracy at home. We embark on this path at a critical moment in history, as we are confronted with unprecedented crisis, energy, economy, a war on our border. Despite these challenges, we are committed to change. To strengthen democracy in Moldova, we work to build people's trust in our state, in our public institutions. We focus primarily on three goals, reforming the judiciary, strengthening anti-corruption bodies and cleaning up public institutions, and countering illegal financing of political parties. Last year, we set the basis to ensure that Moldova's judges and prosecutors are competent, independent, impartial, and abide by the law. We started an extraordinary evaluation of the ethical and financial integrity of judges and prosecutors of candidates to self-governing bodies. The parliament also passed legislation intended to decrease the political influence over the selection and promotion of judges and strengthen independence of the judiciary. We embarked on strengthening anti-corruption bodies and cleaning up our public institutions. Throughout 2022, we appointed honest professionals in leadership positions in key anti-corruption institutions. We continue working on strengthening existing mechanisms meant to ensure accountability and integrity in the justice sector. It takes time, but we will build a justice system that the society can trust. We have reinforced mechanisms of oversight and sanctions to prevent illegal financing of political parties. We have adopted a new electoral code. It strengthens the capacity of the Central Election Commission that can now oversee political financing and verify the income of those who donate funds to political parties. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just started. There is still much to be done. We are determined to lead by example in strengthening democratic values and institutions. These commitments are not just words. These are actions that we take every day. And we are ready to play our part in building a more just and equitable world. Together, we can ensure that democracy remains the cornerstone of our international community.